So you want to know if your bearded dragon is happy and really likes you. If you stumbled across this video, chances are you are questioning that because you really want to see your bearded dragon happy. Let's face it, we're basically peasants when it comes to these bearded dragons. We're always trying to spoil them and sometimes in return we get unhappy, ungrateful bearded dragons. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys five signs to look out for to tell if your bearded dragon is happy and really likes you. So you just got a bearded dragon and it's the cutest thing ever. You just want to pet it, feed it and look at it all day. But then out of nowhere, it just poops on you and you're wondering, what did I do to you? And of course, no one likes to get pooped on. What did he say? <laughs> Not that I know anything about it. I'm just saying no one likes to get pooped on. Okay, like Especially by a bearded dragon, but what I'm trying to say here as weird as this may sound Just play along with me What I'm trying to say here is if your bearded dragon poops on you Then it means it feels comfortable to be around you. So personally I would take it as a compliment okay of course i wouldn't want to get pooped on but if my bearded dragon poops on the floor i'm like yo what's up man we homies now it's almost like that stage in the relationship when you know your spouse like farts around you you're just like we ain't breaking up no matter how bad it smells <laughs> what is this but what i'm trying to say is if your bearded dragon feels comfortable around you even to let it out then it probably feels comfortable to be around you and is happy now there is so many signs to look for when it comes to seeing if your bearded dragon is happy and likes you but the second sign to look out for and it might be a little bit of an obvious one but if a bearded dragon is showing no signs of aggression then chances are he trusts you and is happy you want to make sure that your bearded dragon is not aggressive but if your bearded dragon is aggressive you want to slowly take your time to build that trust with that bearded dragon not only that but you also don't want to be doing things to upset him imagine you're a bearded dragon and you're just chilling in your enclosure you're just hanging out and you're just kind of like eating your salads and then out of nowhere some random kid comes and starts picking you up by the leg like even i would throw hands <laughs> But I honestly when it comes to getting a bearded dragon to tame down You want to make sure that you are approaching that bearded dragon with love and care and eventually it should tame down But if your bearded dragon is nice and sweet and already docile Then chances are you've successfully built a bond with your bearded dragon and it's happy and it loves you. now The third sign to look out for to see if your bearded dragon is happy is that you see visible alertness and curiosity a bearded dragon that is unhappy, stressed, or scared would not be exploring around its environment. It would be hiding underneath things or trying to attack you. So if your bearded dragon, when you take him out, is curious, tongue flickering, checking around its environments, giving you the side eye, then chances are your bearded dragon feels comfortable around you and is happy. Now, something I've noticed to be probably the number one question asked by you guys has something to do with bearded dragons not eating. There's something satisfying about seeing a young bearded dragon eating salad for the first time. And they just kind of give you that side eye and they're just like, did you see that daddy? <laughs> hey yo, what the? What does this even turn into? Oh my God, that is like the most, uh, that's so disturbing right there. <laughs> but there's nothing more frustrating to have a bearded dragon not eating food or not eating veggies so it is a little bit satisfying seeing them finally eat for the first time so if your bearded dragon is eating constantly is healthy is always looking and exploring and just being alert especially when you bring food next to it then chances are your bearded dragon is happy and is healthy now another great way to know if your bearded dragon trusts you and is happy is that it allows you to spend some time cuddling with it if your bearded dragon just plops on you closes its eyes and falls asleep then chances are that your bearded dragon trusts you especially if it allows you to give it a little tiny massage on his feet on his tail on his face and he doesn't react so that would be a great indicator that your bearded dragon trusts you and is happy now if you want to take this up a notch i'm just saying 
if you really want to know if your bearded dragon is happy, then it will start giving you a massage. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't even understand how a bearded dragon could possibly give me a massage. And who's writing this material? Like, seriously. Like, why would I want a massage from a bearded dragon? <laughs> So I guess what I'm trying to say is that if your bearded dragon trusts you, it would just basically fall asleep on you. And if you start basically petting its tail or petting its shoulders or petting its arm, then it's not going to react. If your bearded dragon just starts attacking you, then it doesn't like you. And if your bearded dragon starts giving you a massage, that's some next level trust. I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> So hopefully this video has helped out any of you guys out there who was wondering if your bearded dragon is happy and actually likes you. Now, there is so many more signs to look out for when it comes to this topic. So I am going to be making a part two. So if you would like to see that video, then smash that thumbs up like button. Let's at least try to get 500 likes on this video. And if you guys do, I'll drop part two. Hey, that rhymes. So you gotta have to, you're gonna have to give this video a like. <laughs> so hopefully this video has helped you guys out there. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. I'm Lord of Lion. Keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys in Here my goes. next video. Here we go. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit all night. Hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit. Oh, now you gotta hit that notification button, baby, for me. Why don't you hit that notification button for me, baby? Why don't you hit that notification button for me, baby? I said.